you know, he knew knew there was a chance, you know, <clears throat> they wouldn't come back, and so, you know, he wanted to say he loved us, and I still dream about him saying that to us, so, and we love him. Uh, just before he went over to Afghanistan, he wanted me to take him fishing, so I uh, said, I'll take you to my favorite spot, so, yeah, he liked the outside adventure, yeah, he liked going fishing and kayaking and boating and yeah. We called him the White Tiger <clears throat> Wood. He wear red shirt on Sunday and uh, he shoot that ball way out there. Yeah. No effort. Things he does, he want to do the best. Never give up. Yeah. Get her done. Yeah, that was uh, Christmas time, before he was deployed. We right. went next door to my father's for Christmas dinner and uh, yeah, the three of us. We got along well. We were uh, very close. And we have no yeah. regrets because we had a terrific relationship. David with his dog, uh, Colby. Uh, mm -hmm. He called him the horse because he mm -hmm. sort of pranced like a horse. And uh, it was his best friend. Slept in his closet every night. And when he was in Afghanistan, he wanted his roommate when he was back home to bring him more pictures of the horse. And he's buried at Fern Hill with David. Um, on David's tombstone's a picture of David in the corner, a picture of Colby. Um, they had such a close relationship and uh, it's nice for them to be together now. And that's the last picture I took of him, the day of deployment. He strapped everything on and uh, hugged everybody and so one more picture, and he smiled, that big smile of his, and we had his back, and he knew we did. And that's a goodbye picture from Afghanistan. Goodbye picture, yeah. Yeah. He took that picture, self-portrait, uh, when he was in his lab, and after he passed on, we received a camera, well, three cameras, but one of them we didn't know about, and it, I went to the superstore, and that picture came up, and I thought, it's David saying goodbye. Yeah. 